This week begins a special time for the Islamic community, the holy month of Ramadan. And to teach us more about what it means, I'm joined by Muhammad Khalila, a local Amman with the Denver Downtown, the Downtown Denver Islamic Center. Thank you for being with us. Uh, for those that don't understand Ramadan and, and the meaning of it, uh, tell us a little bit about it and how the Islamic Center is marking this month. So Ramadan is actually a special time for Muslims. What the people know that we start fasting. Um, fasting starts from the pre-dawn time, um, starting from today, that's the first day. So I'm fasting right now. Uh, we start from the pre-dawn time until the dusk time every day for the next 29 or 30 days. Uh, fasting is actually a very common uh, um, practice among many different religious practitioners all over the world. Uh, but for Muslims, it's kind of like intertwined between the spiritual aspects of who we are as humans and also the physical aspects. We abstain from food, from drinking water um, until the dusk of every day for the next 29 days. And also we abstain also from um, controlling our anger, being, we all start being more generous, being more aware, self-consciousness, self-awareness and the awareness of God in our life. It is quite the commitment, and it's such an important time of reflection and prayer. Then there's COVID-19. So how has the pandemic impacted the Ramadan celebrations? So the pandemic has impacted the Ramadan celebration in a great deal. Last Ramadan, when we start hit by COVID-19, because last Ramadan last year was 24th of April. Uh, this Ramadan is quite a little bit uh, different because now the community is starting to navigate how to celebrate Ramadan in a little bit uh, more loose way with being careful with the COVID uh, precautions because that's still the pandemic going on, even though many people have been vaccinated um, um, in the community. Uh, so what we're trying to do right now as Islamic centers, as community members, we're trying to make sure that we celebrate the month within the cautious of um, same household. Uh, uh, we have like iftar dinners in the mosque, but social uh, distancing and the masks on and making sure that the people are apart from each other's also prayers the same way because in Ramadan, we have a special prayers at night from uh, around 9.30 all the way to 10.30 p.m. every day. So uh, putting our understanding COVID-19 adding to Ramadan celebration is a big challenge, but I think we, we, we will go through that. Absolutely, sounds like you've made all the necessary changes. So for those that don't celebrate Ramadan, how can we be respectful of what you're going through and also be mindful of how important this is? That's a very, that's a very important question. Uh, for Muslims, they don't drink water they don't uh, which quite a little bit unusual for many people in the u.s um who are not aware of islam islam uh, muslim practitioner practices they don't uh, eat from the pre-dawn time until the dusk time so there's no problem you eat from in front of them there's nothing at all we are not hurt we know that you need to eat and you need to drink if you have co-workers classmates uh, people neighbors uh the uh, so there's no problem at all. Probably they might invite you for iftar over the night, of course, with COVID-19 cautious. So to be respectful to this, it's just like to give them the space that they do not eat and drink it's a during good the time. Okay, yeah. I think we can do that. And I know it's, it's quite a moment too when you break that fast at the end of the month. So thank you for filling us in and, and telling us a little bit more about Ramadan. We really appreciate it. And um, we know that this is an important time for you. So uh, we can't wait to hear. Maybe we can connect at the end about how it's gone, especially during this time of the pandemic. Thank you so much, Mohammed Kulia. Thank you, thank you so much.